You ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? From the All Indiana Podcast Network. Join Pet Pals TV's Patty Spittler as we celebrate our furry friends. Cats, dogs, and all the critters in your family. Celebrate the bond between pets and people and meet Hoosier heroes saving four-legged lives. I love it. Good. I'm glad. It's the Positively Patty Podcast. I can't wait anymore. Me neither. Now, your host, here's Wish TV contributor, Patty Spittler. Coming up today on the Positively Patty Podcast, we're talking teeth. That's right, not just human teeth, although that's important too, take care of them, but your pet's teeth. What should you do? What can you do? And what did Harry go through, my little Maltese? Tom Doc joins us and talks about what Noah's Animal Hospitals did for Harry. So stay tuned. <laughs> Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look like that? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. But there is an easier way. Thumbtack is the app that makes it easier to care for your home. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, search, chat, and book highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Download Thumbtack and start caring for your home the easier way. Okay, it's time to commit. 2024 is the year for prioritizing yourself. Begin your new smile journey with Byte, and you could start seeing results in just two to three weeks. Just order your at-home impression kit today for only $14.95 at Byte.com. Byte clear liners are doctor-directed and delivered to your door. Treatment costs thousands less than braces, plus they offer financing options, accept eligible insurance, and you could pay with your HSA, FSA. Get 80% off your impression kit when you use code WONDERY at Byte.com. That's B-Y-T-E dot com. Start your confidence journey today with Byte. And now on the Positive Patty podcast, I'm so excited. I can't tell you how happy I am. Tom Dock is here, the communications director for Noah's Animal Hospital. He's also a CVJ, certified video journalist. Veterinary, veterinary journalist, journalist yeah. <laughs> with video, too. And also, he's our Pet Pals TV investigative reporter. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> what, just, is that for just being here? Oh, uh, Stuart, I'm so, look how excited I am. Harry, uh, as you know, he's a rescue, mm -hmm. so we don't know what happened beforehand. But I could tell his breath was bad. And he likes to see people, and every time he go up to somebody and stick his nose in their face, I'm like, well, he needs his teeth cleaned, blah, 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 blah. So took him to you, Dr. Rachel, and uh, let's back up a little bit first. Mm -hmm. you, you couldn't do anything in the beginning because his liver enzymes were elevated? Right. So initially, about a month, maybe a month and a half ago, yeah, yeah. he was supposed to come in for a dentistry. We always do pre-anesthetic blood work because we want to know where what's going on inside yeah. of Harry? What is the, what and they is the can't liver? Tell you either, they you know. can't tell you. That's yeah. the important thing. A lot of people worry that why do I need to do blood work? That's just extra money. Well, in this case, we found something. We yeah. found that he had some elevated liver enzymes. And since the liver is really the filter for the whole body, okay. it's going to filter out that anesthetic. And that could have prolonged his uh, recovery after the anesthetic procedure. Or it could have been even worse than yeah. that. So we always want to do things just to know where are they at. Sometimes we just change the protocol. Sometimes we wait. And we had you make a dietary change for him. Because <laughs> I was giving him too much rich food. And we thought maybe that'll help. And it did. It really did. Yeah. When we did the blood work a couple weeks ago, his liver enzymes had come back almost into normal range. Wow. So Dr. Rachel was very excited about that. So yeah, yesterday we brought him in. <laughs> Yeah, you were a little worried. Oh, I'm yeah. a little. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, well, you know, anytime one of our loved ones is going through something, mm -hmm. you get concerned. So you, you, you did. What did you find when you put him under and went in there and looked around? Right. Well, let's back up just a second, because okay. a lot of times people don't realize that when we have pets that need dentistry, even just a cleaning, they need to be under a general anesthetic. Okay. They can't spit. Uh, the, you know, they don't know, you know, when not to swallow and not. And so if you're trying to clean their teeth without anesthetic, without an endotracheal tube protecting their airway, they can inhale that tartar. They can inhale the water oh. and cause more problems. So we always put them under a general anesthetic right. um, and then we hook them up to monitor so that they're all safe. Now, the technician will go in. They'll start charting the teeth just like your dental hygienist does. 
Okay. And then we look, you know, are there pockets? Do we see a lot of tartar? Do we see a lot of gingivitis? We start cleaning the teeth and we take x-rays. This is one thing that is reasonably new in veterinary medicine okay. within the last 20 to 30 years oh. um, where we're taking x-rays on a routine basis. 60% of the tooth is under the gum line and that's where most of the disease process is going to oh. happen. Right. Oh. So we did the x-rays uh -huh. and we did find that he had three teeth that had already bone loss associated with them. So they were mobile. They were moving. And that's what was and causing the... Bad smell too, right? Right, because they were actually diseased. One of them, a three-rooted tooth, had one root that was completely gone. And so, yes, we had a lot of disease process, a lot of bacteria. Um, I sent you some pictures. One of the teeth did have a lot of mucopurulent discharge, pus. We don't generally say pus. We say mucopurulent <laughs> just because it's harder yeah, to say. Yeah, but I don't understand that. I understand pus. pus I right. That. And so it was infected and we got <laughs> that out. And, and now... It's, it's great. I mean, he did great for the procedure. He was such a brave boy for his catheter. Uh, woke up generally very good. A little dysphoric, but we all wake oh, up yeah, dysphoric yeah, yeah, from yeah, anesthesia, yeah. right? Oh, I thought he would be out of it. Compl I was prepared for that. I was prepared to carry him home. I was prepared to carry him to bed. I was mm -hmm. prepared to sleep next to him on the floor, I, whatever I had to do. And he went, went up the stairs. He And he wanted to eat. He's been taking his medicine. No problem at all. Now, I've been giving him soft food. Right. I have some stew that I got for stew because he is in a sensitive tummy. Oh, jeez. And, and he's, he's, I mean, he's here today and uh, he's doing great. I'm so, I'm so happy. And we need people to hear this story because many people don't want to get their pet's teeth cleaned. Um, in the veterinary field, we think, oh, they don't want to spend the money. But that's not true. People will spend the money to get their pet's teeth cleaned. What they're worried about is he has to go under anesthesia. Yeah. So we need to talk about that, how yeah. safe it can be. And they're also not told. And so they don't really understand. A lot of people will say, well, wolves don't brush their teeth. I was just yeah. going to say that. <laughs> right. Just well, first out of, in the wild, they don't brush their teeth. Right. Yeah. Dogs aren't wolves. I will repeat that 18 times um, until people hear it. Uh, they are not wolves. And things that do clean teeth are bones that still have soft tissue attached to it, like yeah. ligaments and tendons and muscle. We don't give those to our dogs. We give them sterilized bones. Yeah. So that's not really helping them yeah. Yeah. at all. And it breaks their teeth. Yeah. So, yeah, we feed them different than, than the wolves eat and all that other stuff. Uh, again, I can't tell you how I'm going to actually cry. I'm so happy with with his results. Uh, he's a tough little cookie, too. So that's that's important. But um, <laughs> and Tom came in today and then Tom Doc says, uh, would you like me to give you the teeth that we extracted? And I go, uh, no. <laughs> uh, some people want to put them in a mm -hmm. little vase or something. That's fine. Uh, you can have no them. necklace. They have a no. tooth hanging on a, a necklace or something. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, thank you again. Uh, that's pleasure. Harry, my little Maltese, my 99.9% .9 Maltese. Again, he's a rescue. I don't know what he went through before. You know, I got him. I don't know whether it's the fault of other things that he ate or nobody. Nobody. I'm sure nobody took care of his mm -hmm. teeth before right. this. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it's over. And uh, it's it's always something. And what I like to do is, and what you help me do, is when I find something out that can help a pet, we talk about it. Right. And we'll put it up on Pet Pals TV. We can definitely blog about this. And, you know, anybody who's listening, if you've got concerns, if you're worried about anesthesia, if you want to just talk about what can I do to help my pet's teeth so I don't have to have a dental cleaning done, send us a message on yeah. Pet Pals TV. I'm happy to respond. PetPalsTV.com. You can find Tom Doc, our Pet Pals TV investigative reporter. Uh, he does it all. And I, and, well, Thank you. Wolf, wolf. You're welcome. And and Harry, you Harry, did a great job. He was Harry's very brave. taking a nap now over yeah. there. <laughs> He's bored. That's his commentary on our on our uh, on our commentary. <laughs> Tom Doc, uh, uh, Noah's Animal Hospitals. Uh, the one that Harry had his work done with Dr. Rachel was at Noah's Caring Hands. But you have how many? Eight. So we have a total of eight locations, right. ten businesses across Central Indiana. So we've got the three emergency hospitals, and as of this point in time, as far as emergency hospitals go, we are the only locally owned, family owned hospital for almost hospitals. forty years. Uh, over forty years. Over forty years. Yeah. So. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My thank pleasure. You, thank you. Yeah, let me pet you there. <laughs> pet you a bit. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you for joining us. Get your teeth fixed and get your pet's teeth fixed. Also, cats too, right? Cats too. Exactly. We can talk with KJ about how many teeth 
a few of her cats have had yep, taken yep. out. KJ's got a kitty that has no teeth, and it's and kitty's doing fine. All right, uh, there you go. Uh, take a bite out of it, and we will talk to you next time on the Positively Patty Podcast. Thank you. Discover more pet-friendly stories at PetPalsTV.com. And stay with Wish TV online at WishTV.com and when you follow Wish TV on Facebook. Be sure to like and subscribe to this podcast and discover more great podcasts from the All Indiana Podcast Network now at AllIndianaPodcastNetwork.com.